So welcome back to the channel guys, uh, I'm going to start now doing some small videos and I'm going to stitch them all together, I think it's probably the best thing to do with this. Um, as you can see, I've removed the swing arm, uh, she was very creaky, so it turns out oh, this bolt here won't come out, so it's well stuck in there. Um, I've tried a bit of heat, I've tried a bit of WD-40. Nothing seems to be working, but it's moving on its bushing, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I can't get any grease in there. Um, there's needle bearings here. I've gotten that out. Uh, a little bit of rust on here, so I'll be cleaning that off. Re-greasing the whole thing. Uh, this bushing's nice and free. It's moving around, so I'm not worried about that. Um, here's all your side caps, here's your grease uh, seals that go back on there, so I'll be putting them back in and gluing them in. Um, swing arm, uh, got these side covers off, they go on the bushing that's in there, and these bushings are little bit seized up so it was very creaky so I have this guy in here and as you can see it's starting to wiggle starting to move so I have both sides of that to do um, plenty of WD-40 gone in there uh, just pour in plenty of that let it soak down soften things up um, this is a kit that I got, a snap-on kit, uh, stud extractors, so they go in opposite way around if you're drawing out a stud. So you just find the one that fits, and that's the one that fits this one. So it screws in opposite way around, so it gives you a bit of grip on the, on the bushing, and not swell it out, so I've given it a little bit of heat as well. So I'll be cleaning that up now and I'll grease all the bushings in here and put it all back together. So, a bit of working on that, but um, that's all freed up now. So, a bit of WD-40, I just keep working that and working it. So I'll wash out that bear now and they'll be getting greased. These things come off pretty easy. They don't leave much damage. It's just put a few teeth mark in it. That won't be seen. So yeah. That's how you get them. the needles don't fall apart yeah so that's what you got raw needles and as you can see plenty of rust so I'll be cleaning those up and the other one free as well they just come out we'll give them a good clean now and inspect them so Clean them up. You can see where the old bearings were. Quite pitted and rusty. But as it turns out, this end, I can just reverse these around and put that on the outside. So I'll just check that now for fit. You can see it's quite gritty there. This side. Not so bad now. I haven't cleaned out the bearing yet, so. That's the next thing I'll be doing now is cleaning that out inside. Let's see where the WD 40 is kind of wet everything. Uh, 
I'll probably go and order new bushings for these, but for now I'm just gonna get it running. Get it back together. Survivor bike. That's the plan. Uh, they were clean up okay. Once I'm happy that they rotate freely. Yeah, so that's all I'll do now. So, cleaning the D's, all I use is a bit of red scotch brite and lots of elbow grease. What I normally do now is sit down and watch TV. I just have this in my hand. And plenty of elbow grease. And that will get rid of that. It's not too pitted. There's a few marks. But what I'll do is I'll put this side in and this will be the new bearing surface because it's a cylinder so there's nothing stopping you from turning it around and going the opposite way. It's already taken off most of the bad stuff. So you want to use the least abrasive as you can. Especially with these old bikes, some of these parts are not obtainable anymore, so you got to try and save them. Um, all we'll do is I get the size of the outside of the bearing and the inside of the bearing, and if I have to get these bushes made up, I will. But these ones are fine, uh, I can use these again. Just have to make sure it's sealed up now, and there's little grease caps goes on the end of the bushing. So I'll be doing that. So that's literally all I need to do. So I've gone ahead now and cleaned up all that, put in the seals and a good copious coating. Uh, I've greased up that center section and I've taken most of the rust off this. Pretty much all I need to do. So I'll go ahead now and fit that in here. So putting these back together. There's plenty of grease in there now. And these I'm going to put them in the opposite way. So the bit with the rust on it is going to be on the inside. So good coating of grease. nicely. <coughs> Need to take these caps. <coughs> Just take any little bits of crap off them. Especially in there. There you go on the seat. and the smear of grease that'll keep them good for the next lad now leave them there Up. Uh, it's just the same for the far side then. Rinse and repeat. So, same with this guy. Pops way around. A bit stiff going in. Thank you. 
their attention around these edges. And we'll be going back in. Release on him. Just ensure that you won't get stuck on the wall. This goes back in, just like the other one. Yeah. Just check these now they move. Yeah. Just bring the other gripper. See how they move nicely. Slide, side to side. Nice. And lastly, for the swing arm, these caps, which are rubber on the inside, so they do seal it in. They go on there. And the same on the far side. Cap goes on. So now, looks like we're in action. Yeah, they have a nice bearing fit. There you go. So this is what wasn't happening before. These weren't turning. Um, they were seized in here, so we're all good now. Nice bit of grease, so I'll just smear a little bit on these. Keeps the moisture out. Actually put a little bit on the inside of these before I put them back on. Give them a good spin. Let's say the last lad to put these on. I speak in Japanese. Back in 1987 or 86 when it was built. So a long time ago. Yeah, that's better. So they spin nice and freely now. Should be plenty of years of service left in them. So now when I put it back in the bike now, it should stop the creaking noises. I was kind of worried about that. We'll just wipe off any excess grease now. Off the swing arm. Just to keep it looking nice. Let's say this is not going to be a restoration project. This is more a survivor bike. So I'm just going to keep it original. I don't even want to paint it. So, you see some of the paint is missing off the swing arm in spots, so I just brightened it up a bit. WD-40. Like all those original stickers, you won't get them again. I know they look a little bit tacky in these days, but um, it is what it is. Yeah, so next time you see this, I should have a swing arm on it uh, of all these pivots back in. Them all greased. They're all looking good. Just caps on these as well. So I've them all greased now, and 
It's actually a little shimmer to it. Very interesting. Yeah, one extra shimmer, the other one. Possibly. Yeah. So these have a little shimmer inside them as well. So. some of the excess grease off here looking nice next install now is going to be the shock so I'm just going to give that a clean so next thing to do is Get the shock absorber fitted. Um, I've given it a wash outside and check the bearings all good. So, I'm going to do now is take the bolt off, clean it up inside, and stick a little bit of grease on it. So, that knuckle's good anyway. So, I'll go ahead now and just grease this. And reinstall it underneath the bike. It locates up there just in that bracket. So I'll go ahead now, grease that up, and I'll fit that. So shock back in, bolt up there is tight, <coughs> and the bottom bolt is tight. Bolt in there is back tight again. So these side covers back on. Next thing to do now is reattach the chain guide. So, still pretty good. A little bit of wear, but plenty of meat left on it. So, I'm happy enough to use that again. So, let's see how I can this side. as easy as that <coughs> so now it's time to put back in the swinger and have I done it wrong yeah I think I have right I'm gonna have to open the bottom of that shock again to let this up so let's open the bottom bolt put it back in Next thing to go through now is the bottom of this guy. So line him up. Just twist him around. That he gets to line up. Need two hands, guys. So that's him lined up now. And through he goes. A little bit of grease now on the nuts. That should be good. So, swing so arm, the washer in first. And there we go. Again, tightened up, torqued. That's the all tightened up now. All the bolts in. No play in the swing arm. Right, left, up or down. Uh, won't know now to put the wheel on, how good it is. But that should have solved the creakiness. Um, last thing to put on then is a little bracket there. Holds the pipe, there's air assist. So 
Let's just clarify it in there. Let's see. Like on the car tire. So he's okay. I'll have to check the pressures on these now and see what they are. A little hand pump. Now, but that's that part sorted. Um, what's going on here now with this? There we go. Right, so that's that end done. So, next up, the wheel is going on. So, I'll just get this shaft, axle shaft, and give it a polish. Just to get any corrosion off it. And I'll be greasing that shaft up down. There's quite a few bits to it. So again a little bit of scotch brite. Red scotch brite. It's gentle enough on it, it won't do any harm. I don't like using sandpaper. You just end up taking too much off. And then you have a wobbly axle. Or loose, I should say. So, in pretty good condition anyway. So here's all your components. Uh, your brake caliper with your carrier. That has to go on. Uh, these blocks slide up into the swing arm. They're just for your chain. Uh, to there for they sit on the frame underneath, so you can see where you're. You can level them up. Um, your bowl to have it clean, pretty good. Not for the other side and a washer. So. I'll start with these now. I have them covered in WD-40. Um, just stop them corroding. Uh, I think they fit in that way. Yeah. Little cap and that sits in there. So when you're adjusting it, he goes along. So a second one here. Tap it down. down sitting nice they operate nice and smooth so so wheels back on we have a struggle so back on with the brace for the brake and see if all the nuts and bolts are going this way so I'll put the bolt that way on this Right. Yeah. So these adjusters we'll be putting on the chain next. So we'll be doing that with them for the minute. But uh that's it, wheel back on, swing arm back on. So I'll be trying out suspension now. Next thing now, we'll check the sprockets all good. So, get the side cover off this already. Next 
interesting now is to get this chain installed. So it's a pretty good chain, it's off that race bike. So we have the split pin there. So I'll go ahead now and install the chain. So there you have it, chain has broke it on now. Uh, everything seems pretty good. I uh, might have to adjust it later, but I'm going to leave it a little bit slack for the moment because I want to try out the suspension and see what that's doing. Um, on a side note, you always want to slacken this guy as well because the wheel won't go back properly. Uh, that's for your brakes. So, they're set pretty much on the very first mark. That's not accurate, so we'll be checking it a different way later. Uh, so, I'll probably go from the middle of the axle nut to the middle of this, or the swing arm nut bolt to that, and I'll do a measurement that way just to make sure they're right. But um, these may have to come off anyway to get unseized because they weren't the best, so. That'll be another video. Um, indicator bulbs, some of them are not working, so I doze all off. Uh, what else have I been doing? Yeah, uh, I took this bracket off uh, for the clocks because if you can see, I don't know if you can look along it, but it's a little bit bent. From a previous accident and I have a spare one which I have taken apart and it is pretty straight so I'll be putting this on in another video um, I have a little bit of leather here for the seat um, it's the same color it's kind of dark blue navy blue so I'll be cleaning that up and I'll try and put that on, but it's real leather, so it might be a little bit stiff. Not sure yet, but yeah, well that's her now with the wheel back on. And two back on two wheels. So I'll leave that on there like that. Uh that's her back on her two wheels. I'll probably be taking off the front wheel as well. Just to do a few just grease things up and the headstock as well so for today's video i'll leave it at that